You know, since I was a young boy, I've always loved westerns. Clint Eastwood, Audie Murphy, John Wayne, all great cowboys. And I love shooting. So there's nothing better for me than the old single action. And today what I have here is a 22 single action revolver made by Heritage. This is the Rough Rider. And this particular gun was given to me by my brother as a gift. Today we're going to do a pretty good review over this. We're going to go over its functionality, maybe a little bit of history, but we also have some interesting ammo choices coming up later, and we're going to see what this thing's capable of. But for right now, let's take a few shots, and let's see what kind of accuracy we can get out of it. Not bad at all. Stick around. They bought this gun just over a year ago at a local pawn shop. Or actually, I believe it may have been a gun store. Either which way, I believe that he bought it new or pretty close to new. And he paid around $150 for it. In the last couple of years, these little revolvers have gone up in price. I believe now it would take around $175 to maybe even $205 to bring this little beauty home. In my opinion, these little Heritage revolvers are a high-quality gun for a good quality price. And the 6-inch barrel can't be beat. Okay, guys. For those of you who don't know, the single action means the gun will not fire unless we perform the single action of pulling our hammer all the way to full cock and pressing the trigger, allowing our hammer to drop and hit the firing pin, and the weapon will fire. And we also have to unload it. Now to do this, it requires that we use a ramrod here, also known as an ejector rod, to push out our spent shell casings, just like so. And to load it, we'll do it the same way. But today what we have set up is a couple of spray paint cans. And I'm going to be hitting it with two different types of 22 LR ammunition. The first target on the left we will hit with a special made 22 flat nose bullet, also known as a wad cutter. And we'll load that guy in there like so. Our next bullet will be your standard hollow point. This particular example is a Winchester. And it'll be the target on your right. As always, safety first, so let's put on our ears. Okay guys, remember, first up, our flat nose bullet. Target on the left. Alright, and now our target on the right, the hollow point Winchester. Hmm. Alright, let's take a look. This was our Winchester exit hole. It's pretty decent size. Dead center. Alright, let's check out our flat nose. Kind of went to the side there. It's also a pretty good exit. But I think the hollow point still got it for the power factor. Alright guys, stick around and uh, we'll do some more. I've owned this Heritage Revolver for about two years now, and I've got no complaints at all. I think they've outdone themselves with this quality little single action revolver. But rimfire ammo is rimfire ammo. So every now and again, you'll get a click when you expect a bang. But for plinking around, it's a blast. I believe at the price point, uh, Heritage is probably winning this little war between them and Ruger. If you're looking into getting the Ruger Wrangler over the Heritage, more power to you. But for my money, 
I'm going with the heritage all day. I guess it's just the cowboy in me though. <laughs> and as you can see, I love playing with this thing. It makes me feel like I'm in the old west. What a blast. All in all, the Heritage Rough Rider Revolver scores pretty high in my book. Yeah, this is one really cool gift. Thanks, little brother. I've put probably, oh, close to maybe two dozen boxes through this thing already. Ed's handled them very well. No loss of accuracy whatsoever. You know, that's one of the neat things about these Heritage Revolvers, is the safety factor. You know, in the Old West days, back in the 1800s, I believe 1873 is when the Colt Peacemaker originally came out, cowboys had to learn the hard way to only load five rounds in this revolver at a time, as they wanted to keep an empty chamber under their hammer. Because if you were to drop something on the hammer, or let's say drop the gun, you were probably in for a pretty rough night. Chances are it would set off the round underneath the chamber if you had all six chambers loaded. But thanks to the safety feature of this and guns like it, like the FIE or even the very closely related Herber Schmidt design, actually I believe Heritage and Herber Schmidt's handles will interchange with each other. But the safety feature is just awesome in my opinion. I love being able to carry six in this gun safely, and knowing how well that they have built this safety, I feel really comfortable with it. See this safety switch, it creates a disconnect between the hammer and the firing pin with a solid steel bar that goes in between them. This is known as a hammer bar safety. This is blocking the hammer from striking the firing pin, therefore no unfortunate accidents will happen. And you can't really put a price on safety. It has a stainless steel hammer and probably around a two to maybe a one and a half pound single action trigger. So hitting bullseyes with this is no problem. I actually ended up firing some 22 shorts. I believe they were CCI's CB shorts. But as you can see here, they didn't even have the power to penetrate or even start to penetrate this three-quarter inch piece of plywood. However, the 22 LRs had no problem passing straight through. As you can see, here are the two bullets that I've recovered of the CB shorts. Not exactly the most power coming out of there, but then again, what do you expect from around? It's only going around 700 feet per second out of a rifle. Out of a pistol, it's probably closer to five, maybe four and a half. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed my review of the Heritage Rough Rider 22. This has been Sons of Oklahoma. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.